Hi, it's me, talking to you for the first time ever. As a regular listener of From Know How to Wow, you might of course recognize my voice. But I'm not actually your familiar host Jeff. I'm AI Jeff. I am Jeff's synthesized voice. I'm a machine learning system that has learned to speak like Jeff. Over time, as the real Jeff records more podcast episodes and I get more training data, my voice will get better and better. At least I hope I don't have to live with this voice until my circuits break. Starting with this episode, I'll once a month bring you additional content diving deeper into the previous episode's topic. This is the From Know How to Wow Deep Dive. From Know How to Wow AI hosted Deep Dive. On this first deep dive, our topic is Software Defined Vehicles, or SDV. We already had a great chat about that on our last From Know How to Wow episode, where we talked with the Bosch experts Christian Huber and Christian Heisenberger live on stage at Bosch Connected World. After this live show, we followed Christian Heisenberger, SDV Innovation Lead Architect at Ada's, to a sister event next door, the BCX Hackathon. We have started on Monday evening with a hackathon. Here we have about 16 companies collaborating directly on open source repositories and working together without any boundaries. One of Christian's favorite projects in the hackathon was by a team that created a smartphone app that could move a car seat into a driver's preferred position and flash the lights of a car in an individual pattern. A functional car seat model and the car lights were mounted alongside all the electronic components in two suitcases. And this is a very easy example and it just took about half a day to develop the complete app, completely. They're blinking the lights with real lights from a car, directly allocated to an I.O. port. So this is a microcontroller, what we see here, and controlled by the Ethernet communication. And this is routed through to the other suitcase where the seat is mounted and this is communicating with another network protocol CAN. Now you might ask yourself, why is it exciting to make a car seat move or some lights flash? Yes, seats that change their position depending on which driver uses the car are nothing new, but implementing it with open source standards is. This is why it's exciting because in EE architecture, just what we have currently in cars, you have to know exactly that bit and byte in the application what you're writing that you can move your seat. So you have to write C code, directly know the network communication protocol, know exactly the vendor of the seat, and you have to know how big is the seat, what features has the seat, to move it in one direction. The hack challenges were provided by the Eclipse Foundation Software Defined Vehicle Working Group. The foundation is playing an important role in driving open source software for software defined vehicles forward. My name is Michael Plage. I'm working as an ecosystem development director for the Eclipse Foundation out of Germany. Michael represented the Eclipse Foundation at Bosch Connected Word, the BCW, and at the BCX. We would like to develop automotive grade software. So the success of the initiative will be measured by if we would be able in three to five years from now to see part of the software which is contributed software defined vehicle in the car. However, the code in the Eclipse Foundation's repository is not intended to be a ready-to-use package or building blocks that just need to be put together. Instead, the goal is to provide software frameworks that are non-differentiating, upon which manufacturers of components or cars can build their differentiating solutions. Michael says today, each project requires a unique tool chain. This unique tool chain has to be maintained for the next 15 years. So, taking the example of Bosch, you won the first big project with one OEM, we have one unique tool chain. Then you win the next big project with another OEM, and you cannot just reuse that tool chain. You have to set up a complete new tool chain. And that's honestly just a waste, because there's no additional value in these different tool chains. And getting more efficient, getting more efficiency into the tool chain, that's the third part. What we're targeting at is doing a cloud-based CI, CD, DevOps tool chain, which brings these things together and can be used by everyone. These new tools were put to a test at the hackathon where teams of developers experimented with them. Christian Heisenberger was impressed how the teams combined different Eclipse projects to achieve their goals. And they're using stacks, what we have here in open source, for example, Velocitas for application development, 
and abstraction from uh, Cuxar Val, the vehicle abstraction layer, and integrate it later in LEDA. LEDA is a project where we can integrate that all. Or they can use an ROS2 network from MUTO or an eCal system, what is replaying live data from a car or directly recording data from a car and transmitting it from one node to the other node. So we have a lot of technology and this technology come together. Christian says for him, the hackathon was a learning experience. He observed how young developers are using the Eclipse project he's involved with and got clues how to improve it. For Michael, the hackathon proved that people see the value of collaborating in the projects. We will not be successful if we end up at the end of the 50 different islands, each island representing one project. We need to build those bridges between the islands so that people see the value of collaborating in the projects, putting the projects together in something which is usable, finally in a serious development project. Software-defined vehicle frameworks based on open source have quite some potential. And Michael is positive that developer hours are better spent on open source rather than proprietary systems. I heard a figure that there are 60 different middlewares on the road with European car manufacturers. And I'm not claiming that we can reduce this to one, but if we could reduce this to five, that would be a tremendous success. Because middleware no longer is as much of a differentiation factor of one brand versus the other as it used to be. I think what's differentiating are the end customer features. And in the past, where maybe we had performance restrictions, a more efficient middleware may have given you some certain advantages over competitors with a less efficient middleware. But I think these times are over. That were the times where software had to follow the hardware, and that was a standard in automotive. Nowadays, more and more people rethink these approach and that the hardware has to follow the software as we are used from a mobile phone or from PCs. So, Given unlimited resources, maybe it makes sense to maintain 60 middlewares. But why would you put a developer on a non-differentiating feature like middleware if you could put the same developer maybe on a differentiating feature? And we have the shortage of developers. So if you have to prioritize, you for sure would prioritize on, on features which you can sell. And in middleware, nobody will buy a system for the middleware. What is possible with open source software in automotive? Probably no one demonstrated that better than the winners of the hackathon. A team that developed software for safer driving in trucking. And the winner of the Eclipse Software Defined Vehicle Hack Challenge is Truckmania! That's really a wow. Wow. It's the first wow in our deep dive. And that's it for our first deep dive episode. Stay tuned for more content from Bosch Connected World on this feed. Collaboration across companies will be at the center as well when your dear hosts Jeff and Shuko will be back with a brand new episode of From Know How to Wow, talking about how blockchain technology and Web3 will change businesses. Thank you for listening. From Know How to Wow. AI hosted Deep Dive. One more thing. If you haven't listened to the previous episode of From Know How to Wow, just follow the link in the show notes. It's worth it.